2001 Isuzu NPR brake booster replacement brake booster location is right here by this wall here in between the steering column the dashboard and towards the end and all the mechanism is kind of backwards so you got the brake booster and then the uh, master cylinder on the other side I'll show you in a little bit we got the lines right here so they drop to some uh, uh, rubber lines here where are they right there rubber lines that will flex when the uh, when the cab is open as you know this the cab for this year opens uh, opens this way So um, that's the master cylinder. It's kind of like reversed, and uh, your your brake uh, reservoir is here. This is where you put the fluid. So it's all it's all in the cabin. So we're going to begin by taking this vessel, if I recall correctly, you just need to pry it out, get a screwdriver. I think this, this guy here is not, is not good, really, really good. And there you go. The, the steering wheel has a, has a leveler here. This is your lock for the steering wheel. Look at that. So that'll give me a little bit more room up here to remove these these panels here. And we have a couple of connectors here. A lot of them is just you just you just gotta push on the little tabs. Ah. See, I have to press on this tab here and pull. Same thing. I can't show you really good on the other one, but I'm doing that. I'm pressing on the on the tab. Okay, there's another wire here for the, this is the dimmer, and it goes down here to another connector, also same thing, push the tab and pull, and last but not least, we have another one here, which is this one here, same thing, pull it, push the tab and pull, so that takes care of our of our vessel here now we have exposed the dashboard now the, the next thing I want to do is remove this uh, this instrument cluster and that's a 10 millimeter uh, bolt let me get my tool all right so uh, I got my 10 millimeter uh, bolt that's three going to the floor that's four. Back to it. Okay, so this here is broken. It's missing a little, little leg here. Um, there's not much on the back of the dashboard. A couple of uh, connectors. We're gonna say, do the same thing. We're gonna press the tab and pull back. Yeah. Where's my tab? There's a tab here. Oh. 
it's so frustrating when I'm trying to show you something and I don't have the I don't have a third hand to to do this thing I have to be holding the phone okay I think that'll work ah, finally one there's another one much easier this guy is the type of guys that I like to work with and that that gets our dashboard out Put it there too on the seat. It's a mess. Look at this. I'm a burst to show you guys. Uh, I don't know who was driving this truck here. Anyways, um, as you can see now, we we have exposed part of the uh, part of the brake booster, and you see how new it looks. It's it's been it's been replaced. We're changing it because these guys uh, suggested that that we change it. Suggested that that's the problem. Um, I don't agree, but I, I have done everything and I, I've done, let's say, 99 steps, so one more uh, wouldn't hurt. The master cylinder is mounted towards the back, towards the inside of the cab. Uh, so therefore, you got the master, master cylinder and you have your, your brake lines. These are just to uh, refuel the, the fluid. This is your reservoir. Remember, we, we said it's on the side of the dashboard, right by the window. So that's where your fluid comes in, goes into the uh, master cylinder, and the master cylinder uh, attaches to the uh, brake booster by those four uh, uh, nuts on the studs. The steering column goes straight in this line here, and look at where the where the uh, master cylinder, I mean the brake booster is. So if you wanted to pull it out, you don't have enough room to come out through here. Therefore, the, the steering column has to come out. Uh, we want to take these, uh, these two bolts here. They are uh, 14 millimeters, I believe. Uh, two here and two at the bottom. And then, this here and then there's the bolt here let's get this out here you can see there our um, the steering wheel shaft uh, we got to remove that too so let's put the wheel a little bit that should do it Oh, they're 12. They're 12 mm millimeters. But I think the long one is too long because I'm not going to have uh, room for the uh, ratchet. So we're going to need a, either a wrench or a short 12 millimeters. We got the bolt out. it's out and then we have to remove the bolts that we talk about here on the top so if this bracket is gonna go with the steering column I want the connectors from the other side unplugged these will stay with the with the block here and the way I'm gonna do that is looks like I'm gonna have to get these this plastic cover off with it too. This bracket extends all the way to the back, to the bottom, with those two nuts here. One bolt, one nut, and then one bolt on the other side. So it's the same thing. Bolt and nut. 
these connectors are gonna have to come out through this side here and the clip will have to stay let me see if this is doable yeah you can do it the bracket has has a 10 millimeter bolt right here that will loosen up the bracket the bracket is kind of like on a C so we got this disconnected I'm gonna just disconnect each one of the plugs okay so the steering column will come out now It's supposed to look bad and it's gonna be a minimum of movement on this here I want it I want it to be almost how I took it off and now I'm getting more room uh, to be able to see the um, the brake booster let's take this off get these four bolts off and loosen up that that valve over there this line here this this brake line is heating with the plastic here. There you go. Sometimes you gotta be a little wild. We just remove this line, the brake line from it. The brake booster uh, is held to this bracket here. So it's gonna have to come like this. Under, from under these, these orange rusty metal frame here this stays with the with the dashboard you see how it's sticking up here like that so it's gonna have to come down and then move like that for that matter I have to remove those two bolts at the bottom of that of the bracket and I'm going for these this bolt here at the top which it has to do with this bracket here if you follow it and it goes to the bracket for the brake booster and if you follow this here I have also these this bracket here coming to down here those have been free with the exception that on this side here I have these these other bracket making contact with uh, with these two here so there is a there's a computer here that stays here before that Look at the accelerator uh, pedal, and you see these two. This is a different bracket holding, being held by these four. I mean, by these two nuts here. Uh, this bracket is sitting on top of of the brake booster bracket. These will stay here with the truck. This is on top. This has to come out first. Let's uh, let's put our hands to it. See how it goes. So so let let's get the brake brake uh, brake switch off with this bracket. Let's get that off. I believe that's a that's a fourteen. see so basically it's just it's just hooked in the back here you see that that's how you that's what you do you, you press on it and it releases it just runs along that gap there okay so that's that's loose hopefully it'll stay there now let's uh, remove those two bolts now we change to 14 millimeters.
Okay, so I have the bottom. It's moving. Let's try to get the uh, the top. So I'm going for this one here. There's not enough room. So I'm going to have to do it by hand. Okay, that's that. Let's follow this bracket here. That's the bolt. That's the bolt that I just removed right now. But it, it has to do with, the, with this with this bracket. Now if you follow it here, it comes also to this bracket here. Ah, look at that. So this bracket here, this bracket is it's loose now. This is the bracket on the left of the of the brake booster. The bracket bends on the back here. So there's two nuts. Let me see if I can see it. Oh look here. This is clear. My hand, whew, I'm removing <clears throat> the other knot. I look you got you gotta work from from the top here. So let me see if I can stick my hand. Whoa, I got it. Now, let me see if it's worth it. Uh. Doesn't seem to be cooperating. Oh, look, there is the other, there's the other bolt so obviously right now the bottom of the bracket is loose it's just being held by the by the top so if we concentrate on removing those two bolts from behind we should be okay let me try to remove this this guy here it looks like it's gonna be yeah there you go hey Do I have any have a better view? No, removing removing this duct here would be a pain in the butt because it's a whole one whole piece that goes all the way around towards the towards the middle of the cap. So no, that's not an option. Let me see. Ow. Yeah, let's get this. Let's get this. Uh, this screw out we're gonna try this short with the swivel with the short uh, with the short uh, 38 I'm always careful in case this thing was to slip I'm always watching the trajectory of my hand if you were to sleep what am I gonna hit so I'm trying not to go against sharp objects ready to put the brakes I'm trying to get I'm trying to to move these these bracket here it should come out this way already break free but if you notice it's it's attached to this other bracket by these bolts here they're reversed they're from the back and this bracket it's part of the it's part of the cab I think so so let's remove these this 10 millimeter bolt let's take it off and that should free us go I have to go from behind behind this bracket here all the way to here okay so I'm ready to I'm ready to put force in it all right so Okay, that's a that's a 10 millimeter bolt that's behind. 
and I'm hoping that by now this thing will wiggle more will move more and it does okay guys good news I had to wiggle I needed my I needed both my hands so I have to, to wiggle the bottom part of the of the bracket now that it's loose and just wiggle it up, upwards and then the bracket came off from the back so it's just basically hooked from the back and let's, let's see what we have here so that's that's to the computer so I don't need to bother it I don't need to take it off completely unless it's on my way as it is right now it's not we're gonna go from the from the rear view and look there you see that there it is that's my that's my next bolt this is what I'm gonna attempt to do I got my a short 14 millimeter socket and I'm gonna try to go from this side here from the right right hand side of the of the brake booster Let's see if I can gain access ah, there it goes I'm I'm behind let's see Ooh. Ooh. if I could push a little bit look at that I'm really close you can tell that if I can press on on the duct without breaking it oh my goodness am I on it I'm almost there yeah I think I'm on it Woohoo! let's go for it Go at an angle. Look at the opening on this side here. You see how much opening I have here? It's dropping down. So those are good news. Almost there. Oh, no, look, now even my I can I can't even put my finger inside now. It finally dropped. You heard that? It's just, it was the brake booster uh, dropping. So there is the bolt right there. Okay. So if my theory and my hoops were, were right, I, I should be able to leave the master cylinder hanging there, the same place, with the exception that the lines, the brake lines are are attached to this here to this bracket so we just need to free them uh, that's one and that's two they're tangled up now just tangled up ah it's bendy Okay. Woo. So now look at this. This is your whole master cylinder. So the the wall, the front wall the truck is here and since it has nowhere to go this is how it's set up so the next thing to do I'm gonna have to remove I'm gonna remove this pin here remove this this uh, well the safety clip remove the pin 
and make sure that this goes out. Removing these four knots and removing this that should free the the brake booster from the bracket. Well, here is my uh, my new brake booster. Remember, the other one is still in there. Let's just compare, make sure that uh, it's the same thing. All right, so we got our four rectangular uh, studs. If you notice, what I mean is they're not on a square. These are farther than these are. Uh, and, and then right to the, um, what is it? Five o'clock position, we have the, the little pipe here. So that matches. And then if we turn it around, we have our four um, uh, studs also from the back, and then the place where we're gonna put the uh, the bracket bolted in, bolted into it. So looks the same. Let's change it up. We remove the pin, remove the washer, and remove the pin out. And then uh, this is your brake pedal uh, end of the bracket, and this is loose. This is gonna remove the four nuts. Okay, so this should come out very easy. There it is. I'm gonna keep uh, track of the orientation. My pipe is my pipe is on this side here, so I'm gonna put it the same way. The pipe is here. The pipe is there. Take my nuts. Take my nuts off. That sounds horrible. And okay, something like that. So I don't want to lose the orientation, but something important: this bracket here has to be transferred. So let's see if I can count. So 17. Seventeen facing up. So remember, here is our our brake thingy. And there it is. All right, so I have installed the um, the pin. The, the I have installed the brake booster onto the uh, bracket or the bracket into the brake booster either way basically I um, I sit it on it put my four four nuts and put the uh, the pin with the lock here and it is ready to go in that's it simple enough all right so we're gonna try to put these uh, this brake booster remember I'm, I've already put it on with the uh, with the bracket so it has to go it has to go in like that under under the uh, the master cylinder in this area right here and then try to get to this part so let's let's see how that's gonna work put all this towards the side Moving the, the brake lines out of the way. The brake booster line. The main thing you want to make sure that you are aligned with these bolts here, that your gas pedal bracket is out.
Oh, look at that. It's almost there. Ooh, that's almost perfect. So let's try to put that, put that bolt there. I'm not aligned here. I'm not. This is way off. But if I can, if I can put that bolt, the bolt there first, I should be able to to move these back. Let's put this on the uh, on the socket with tape or something. Just to make it get tight. Yeah, that should work. Well, we are we're at the hole, but we're not aligned. So that's not gonna work. Let's try again with two fingers. Maybe a pair of long needle pliers. With the very tip of my of my finger, I have to grab the bolt. Pretty much this action. Imagine if that's the bolt right there. I have to be like doing this. Just like that. And I already got my bolt uh, started a couple of turns. Look, this is how much I can go in it. I can reach it. Uh, but that's what it takes sometimes. That's what uh, you have to go through. So now my uh, challenge would be to bend this back and be able to uh, align that this other side with it when when installing the the brake booster with the bracket remember it's gonna have to go upwards and go behind this uh this part of the frame here this is fixed so when it goes down when it goes under the main thing you have to remember is to keep that guide there that guide goes into that hole uh what i did i i i put it in and then I even put that other bolt there. You can see it there with the green mark. I already uh, secure it in place, but it won't allow me. I was supposed to put this in first. If you see, it's not letting me put it in place. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take those down. And that's gonna, I'm thinking, it's gonna allow it to swing towards the right, open up a little bit, drop that guide and go under that's my that's my plan but whenever you're doing this i'm telling you this so that you can uh do it differently differently than, than what i did you drop perfect 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 let me show you so you see it drop now Now I'm going under and up. Perfect. You can see the guy right there in the center of the of the image. Right there. That little fellow there. It's like sticking up. And even these, it's aligned and ready for me to put the bolt. I have the other side secure that bolt is in it and I'm gonna tighten up those two okay so that's my uh, four bolts secure and tight uh, two at the bottom two at the top and that one there after I gauge the right depth of the of the rod here this is the one that pushes the um, the master cylinder and just in case you don't know well the way it works you push on the brakes and that comes out 
that pushes that uh, the master cylinder in so I want to make sure that that we have enough clearance here I think I'm good This goes with the other bracket, if you remember. Okay, that puts my master cylinder on the booster. The booster is on the bracket. The bracket is with the bolts already. So, uh, yeah, we need to put these lines on, on the guides on the tracks. I don't think that's it. Yeah, it's time to put this bracket on. The challenge, the challenge to put this uh, bracket, the computer bracket is that it has these, um, these two holes right there, you see them? Uh, uh, okay. These two holes here, are gonna go in these two studs here so it's gonna come in like that and then you pull up if that was if it was that easy but the thing is that the the bracket has to go in like this then go like that and then go out on the way you have you have this bracket here so ideally, that's how it's supposed to go. You see, I'm really close to that, to those studs. But in order to do that, I gotta clear this, this corner here, so that this eye will be under, and the bolt will line up. Same thing with this one. Tell me what got him in. Yeah, I was like really close to the um, to the studs. All it needed was for the bracket to go up a little bit, a little bit higher. So I had no room. So what I end up doing, grab my uh, Phillips screwdriver. There's a hole here, and I went across and pry against this part of the of the, of the floor. So I pretty much did this. You see the screwdriver in the back and then lift it up that helped me raise the whole bracket up and that allowed it to to uh allow the studs to sit on it now you can see they're on it so it's time to put those two nuts tighten them up time to put this bolt one more bolt at the bottom I'm gonna have to stick my hand all the way to the bottom of this here. That is putting the, the two nuts at the back of the brake booster. And there they are. Yeah, so I'm I'm able to, to put my, my wrench through like that and grab the back of it. It's a 12 millimeter bolt. I was using a, a 13. So I want to show you what I'm doing here. I'm laying down on the on the driver floor mat here, and uh, you see this you see this bracket here. I'm sticking up my hand in the middle of it and going upwards, and it takes me right behind behind the bolt where I where I want to be, and then from the top. I have the from the top I have the the ratchet and this is what I'm doing that while I hold the uh, the socket in place yeah believe it or not that's what it took 
and of course you have to have it'll help if you got a swivel ratchet because it's not a, at a 90 degrees like that but it's like that so this is uh this is very handy try to get you one you won't regret it yeah so this one here this you don't have to put it on it's, it's a it's a through bolt that that holds the bracket for the uh steering column all right so uh let's recap i got my booster on i got my master cylinder to the booster i have the lines on i got the uh, the vacuum line attached to it i have the computer bracket already secure in place uh yeah they have five volts five volts well i'm missing the one for the steering column the steering column it's the uh the missing part oh well, wait a minute we need to put the gas uh the, the accelerator bracket also that's that shouldn't be too too hard basically that back part this part here has to go behind that's the first thing you need to to make sure it's in after that's in it you just gotta find your holes or studs and put them in now the gas pedal ah, yeah, yeah. I'm getting known for this the gas pedal has this hook here that should be let me see if it's gonna go yeah it's lighting to there Now we just gotta find our, our nuts. Steering column, it's in place. So we're gonna put the uh, the dashboard back in. I put the dashboard back in. The the vessel, the the, the trim here, connected the two con the two. Uh, well, put the two blocks here, back here. Hey guys, well, thank you very much for watching. That was the whole process. I hope you benefited from it. I would ask you that if you really benefit from the from the video and, and if you learn from it, uh, give the, the video a like. And if you can subscribe, I will appreciate. I don't like to ask for a like or a subscription at the beginning of the video because I myself like to watch the video and make sure that I like it, make sure that it was it was it was a good video and I hope this was it. Uh it was a lengthy job, it was challenging at times, but uh it is possible. So the information is out there and I hope that uh it's of good use to you. Thank you for watching. Uh if you will like and subscribe. Until next time.